thing I can think of that we have in common is our hatred for Spencer Truman. That's not the only thing. That's enough for me. Oh, hey, by the way, thanks for all your help with Blair. Oh, you win. Hey, Billy? Put that on my bill, with. Yeah. Hey. Where are you been hiding? Uh, usual places. Yeah? I heard about Blair. You must be so happy and relieved. Uh, relieved, I'm, yes. Happy, not so much. Thank you. Hmm. So I asked Blair to marry me. Great news. That's right. Yeah, she turned me down. Todd, I'm sorry. You know she just needs time. <laughs> she needs forever, apparently. She said she never wants to marry me ever again. I don't understand. You, me, the rest of civilization. But she's made up her mind. Well, if memory serves me correctly, you said the same thing not so long ago. So, she didn't give up on you, and you can't give up on her. Yeah, I've been giving that speech from everybody. Then listen to everybody. Why? I know her better than anyone. I thought that... I thought that maybe if I found my son and brought him back, that that would do it. That would bring us back together. But, you know, not, not, to, not to replace the baby we lost, but just to, I don't know, make a family. Blair's such a good mom. And, of course, Star and Jack had a little, little half-brother running around. Because the only thing Blair and I never screwed up was our kids. Well, you know, this is a huge loss. And you said it yourself, you can't replace one baby with another. Well, it doesn't make any difference. I can't find him. Let's talk about something else. How are you? I've been better. What's up? I'm worried about Christian. Well, you do like men who are projects. Are you going to listen to me or are you going to be a smart ass? What's going on? The police have accused him of arson. Yeah, I know. I had somebody from the paper there covering the press conference. Mm -hmm. But it's a waste of ink, man. I mean... I'm no fan of Christian, but he's no arson. I know. But the police think he might be. Even Antonio? Well, Antonio's been taken off the case, and so have I. That's a smart move by Bob. So how's the case against him? Is it good? So far, they have motive, opportunity, and physical evidence. And I really want to help him, but I'm running out of ideas. So. So. The police found... A can of turpentine and fireproof gloves in Christian's apartment. It's all circumstantial. Right. Mm. But he did have an axe to grind with Jones, didn't he? Yeah, but he's not the only one. And he had a laptop with the floor plans of Jones's apartments, right? Whose side are you on? I'm on your side. But I think you're nervous because you're a lawyer and you know how bad all this looks. And I know that Christian isn't capable of this. And I know he wouldn't be stupid enough to strike again so soon when he knows he's already a suspect. Stupid or psychotic? It doesn't matter because he's neither. It's just your opinion, though, isn't it? Well, you don't even like him, and you said it yourself. He is no arsonist. You really want to help him? Of course. Then stop acting like his girlfriend and start thinking like his lawyer. Why don't you hire some, uh, some fledgling defense attorney and, and, uh, pull his or her strings and run Christian's defense from behind the scenes. If you do that, man, you're, uh, you're unstoppable. Take it from me. Wow. That might be the smartest thing you've ever said to me. Well, I am a smart ass. <laughs> Touché. Hey, um, sorry to interrupt. There's something I need to say to you, and I can't wait. So what's so important? 
alone. Yeah. I'm in the middle of a conversation here. No, no, that's okay. I need to check and see if Christian left me a message anyway. It's fine. Guys? What's the verdict? He, uh, he stood you up, didn't he? No, he must. He's probably just. He's running late. No message. Stop it. <laughs> Actually, I was just about to tell you that you shouldn't give up on it. Well, are you gonna take the same advice from me? If I do, will you get off my back about it? Never. How are you holding up? Hey. Uh, well, probably about as well as you are. Christian's in a tough spot, even though he's innocent. You know, he's supposed to meet me here, and, and well, I guess he's, he's late. I mean, he's uh, trying to clear his name. You know, if this was my case, I would be confident that I had enough to take to the grand jury. Well, he's being set up, maybe even by Jones. Even though I'm officially off the case, I'm keeping my eye on it. Well, can you keep your eye on your friend, Officer Saeed? Look, she's a good cop. She's not going to railroad him if he's innocent. If, Antonio, he is innocent. Evangeline, like I told you, you and I both know that, all right? But we still have to prove it. Yeah. Oh, hey, Christian, it's me. Again. I'm still here at Rody's, just waiting, and I'm hoping everything is okay. So I guess I'll see you when you get here.